Compared to the previous years, the residents of Karbala and the pilgrims that arrive here based on special occasions find the holy city advancing in every way possible. One of the greatest and fast-growing achievements in Karbala city is the advancement in the healthcare institutions, and whoever revives it as if he have saved all of mankind. Chapter 5, verse 32, the Holy Quran. We are committed to promote healthier lives through dedication to the care of each patient. This, along with the holy verse from the Holy Quran, is the motto of the establishers and staff of the Imam al hajjah Hospital in Karbala City. Imam al hajjah Hospital Karbala Project is part of a series of charitable projects established and sponsored by the Development and Relief Foundation under the guidance and supervision of His Eminence Sayyid Murtada al Qazwini. The construction of the hospital with its five luxury buildings started in 2008 and is expected to be completed and put to service in the second quarter of 2016 by the will of Allah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu ala Sayyidina wa Nabiyina Muhammad wa alayhi tayyibin al-Tahirin Qala Allah Ta'ala fi kitabihi al-Kareem wa man ahyaha fa ka'annama ahyaya al-Nasa jami'a بداية فكرة المستشفى بعد سقوط صدام لما كنا خارج العراق وجئنا إلى العراق حقيقة أنا شخصيا بدأت بأعمال بنشاطات متعبة ومجهدة على أثر ذلك صارت عندي سكتة قلبية ونقلت على أثرها إلى خارج العراق لإجراء عملية جراحية على القلب ونذرت بيني وبين الله أنه لو سلمت من هذه العملية أن أبدأ ببناء مستشفى مستشفى الإمام الحج عليه السلام لغرض إجراء عمليات جراحية على القلب لأنه شعرنا أنه في العراق وإلى الآن وإلى هذا التاريخ لا يوجد في مستشفى في العراق لا جنوب العراق ولا شمال العراق لإجراء عملية جراحية على القلب مع ما حاجة ملحة الآن موجودة ولذلك بدأنا بالعمل وتوكلنا على الله سبحانه وتعالى وهدفنا هذا هدف الأول ثم بعد, بعد ذلك لما بدأنا بالعمل وجاءتنا التبرعات من المحسنين أنا قبل يومين حسبت أنه إلى الآن 27 مليار دينار عراقي إحنا صار فيه كل ذلك ببركات تبرعات المؤمنين أي حكومة أي جهة مساعدات خارجية ما جاءتنا كلها من المؤمنين وببركات الإمام الحجة سلام الله عليه الهدف أن يكون يعني خاصة بعدما فتحنا فروع عديدة يعني فرع العيون فرع العظام قسم الولادة قسم النسائية وأقسام أخرى وأخرى كثيرة هذه هدفنا أن يأتي المريض هنا وبأقل تكلفة نجري له عملية إذا احتاج إلى عملية ويخرج من عندنا راضي لكن يكون عملياتنا في المستشفى على مستوى عالمي وتأتينا شهادات عالمية وبأحسن طريقة هذه هدفنا الأول إلى الآن كما قلت نحن 27 مليار دينار صرفنا ولأجل يعني البدء بالمرحلة الأولى هناك ثلاث مراحل مرحلة أولى وثانية وثالثة لأجل تشغيل المرحلة الأولى إلى الآن بحاجة نحن إلى خمس ملايين دولار ثم بعد ذلك تأتي المرحلة الثانية ثم الثالثة أكتب إن شاء الله ذاك الوقت لكل شيء إن شاء الله لكل زمان عمل وبهذا العمل حقيقة نحن ندعو المؤمنين داخل العراق خارج العراق كل البلاد الإسلامية أن يقدموا هذا العمل إدخال السرور على قلب الإمام المهدي صلى الله عليه فالمستشفى لا يعود إلي ولا إلى عشيرتي إنما يعود إليه وكل ما أتانا إلى الآن من بركاته هو صلوات الله عليه كربلاء نحن محط الزوار من كل العالم ونريد إن شاء الله إذا شغلنا المستشفى يكون خدماتها ليس فقط للأهالي لها وللزوار وللمجاورين ولكل حتى هدفنا أن يبلغ مستوى خدمات المستشفى إلى أن تقصد حتى من الخارج بحيث خدماتها تتفوق وتمتاز على جميع المستشفيات هذا هدفنا
ونستعين الله سبحانه وتعالى إنهم بهذا العمل يدخلون السرور على قلب الإمام صاحب الزمان وعلى قلوب الأئمة الأطهار وقلوب الفقراء والمساكين والمرضى والمعوزين وأجرهم في الدنيا وفي الآخرة إن شاء الله أجر جزيل بهذا أدعو لجميع الإخوة أن يتقبل الله أعمالهم ويصحح نياتهم والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على محمد وأهل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين The Imam Al-Hujjah uh, Hospital Project uh, was initiated back in 2008 uh, upon the direction and guidance of Samahat Sayyid Murtadha Al-Qazwini The purpose of uh, establishing a hospital was basically for two reasons Number one was to provide medical services to the city that were not essentially available at the time and still are non -avail not available. This is number one. And second, to enhance the health equality that is being provided by the government hospitals. These, those were the two main objectives of the founder when he initiated establishing the hospital of Imam al-Hujjah alayhi salam. The hospital um, premise is on 7,500 square meter with a total uh, construction uh, dimensions of 15,000 square meter. It constitutes of a main hospital building and four auxiliary buildings that support the hospital's function. The main hospital has eight story levels with altogether eight operation rooms, surgical rooms, and 16 beds for ICU and CCU units. The total bed capacity of the hospital is 145 beds. The divisions and disciplines that um, will be contained in the hospital will be, uh, or the hospital will be serving based on the following divisions. The cardiovascular treatment, the ophthalmology treatment, orthopedics division, OBGYN and maternity, and children pediatrics, and internal medicine. These are the five main um, um, divisions that will exist in the hospital upon commission, inshallah. The health condition in province of, of Karbala generally is suboptimal, is not as sufficient as it's supposed to be. Iraq is a wealthy country with full resources, natural resources, with, um, with uh, educated population, with uh, land that has been sought after by so many tourists. Uh, worldwide. But unfortunately, the health condition generally in Iraq is lagging behind the neighboring countries. I'm talking about Middle East in general. For many reasons. Number one is due to the sanctions at the previous regime, the international sanctions that existed during the previous regime for 30 some years. The country you know, experienced lack in healthcare advances and was basically cut off from the rest of the world. There were only essential medical items that were allowed to enter the country. Therefore, they never experienced the health advances that most of the countries have experienced. I can give you a couple examples. For example, when you look at any um, natural disaster or um, act of violence, some terrorist act, you see the ratio between the dead and those who are injured, injured are very close. If you have 100 injured, 
you will have about 50 people who die from the same accident. When you look at other countries, you see this ratio is a huge. If there are 100 people who are injured, basically 5 to 10 people who die, usually between 5 to 10 percent. This is the normal ratio. Why we have such a small gap between those who are injured and those who die in Iraq? It is unfortunate situation of the healthcare status in Iraq. There are many services that are not available in the country, and specifically in the province of Karbala. Up to date, we don't have open heart surgery available in the province of Karbala, nor the therapeutic catheterization. Just recently, some private hospitals have opened in Najaf and surrounding areas that admit patients for therapeutic catheterization. Therefore, we are lacking, lagging behind many countries in the healthcare sector. For every 1,100 population in Karbala, there is only one bed in hospitals available, where there's, this ratio must be decreased in half, meaning for at least 500 population, there must be one bed uh, available for, for every 500 people in the, in the populations. The specialties are non-existent. As I said, uh, cardiovascular specialty, orthopedics, some complicated surgeries in ophthalmology, the artificial insemination, um, some, uh, again, some complex surgeries in, in, in orthopedics. Those do not exist currently in the province of Karbala. That makes many of patients leave either the country or the province, go somewhere else, go outside of the country to receive medical care, where they end up paying hefty amount of money to receive a simple procedure, simple medical care, that should have existed in the country anyway. So unfortunately, the medical situation in Iraq so far is lagging behind many countries, and especially in the province of Karbala. To a certain extent, it does, but the potential, the full potential of those doctors, unfortunately, have not been met. The reason is that we still don't know, I'm, when I say we, I mean as a, as a government or as a whole country, how to receive those medical professionals and how to assist them in assisting us. When an orthopedic surgeon comes from abroad, definitely he needs certain tools and certain instruments in order to practice his, um, you know, his, his, his medical specialty. But then he, he finds that these tools and these instruments do not exist. Or the technical staff that should be associated with this medical doctor, they are not available. Therefore, he cannot provide the way that he was supposed to be. Um, many come with big ambitions. Many come with uh, great passions to help the city of Imam Hussein alayhi <clears throat> salam. But when they are struck with realities, uh, many of them, uh, you know, they get cold and, um, and not happy about the situation. Therefore, I think one reason for having such hospital here in the province of Karbala, in the holy city of Karbala, is to allow those medical doctors and expertise to come to fly to the city of Karbala and provide their service at best way possible. We try to facilitate all their needs and requirements when they are here to administer the, you know, the treatment for, for the public. Hospitals in general are considered the most vital services in any community due to their profound effect on the lives of all members of the society. Therefore, they should be designed and constructed in accordance with the strict biomedical codes that comply with international standards and specifications. Consequently, what makes Imam al Hajj Hospital project most worthy is that it is filling in the shortage of hospitals with multiple specialties that must operate in accordance with the international codes and standards in a province of 1.5 million 
notwithstanding annual visitation which exceed 30 million pilgrims. Although Imam al-Hajjah Hospital is a charitable organization, it is not affiliated with any official governmental, political, religious, or financial entity. However, because of the prohibitive cost of health care, at the present time, the hospital will provide the medical care in exchange for a nominal fee that will cover the cost of the treatment. Our goal is God's satisfaction and the healing of the ill.